learning communities are families. The whole school is a family. The vibe you get in when you walk into a Montessori school is a peaceful, calm respect. There is what we call like a productive noise going on. It's like a hum. It's typically a very peaceful environment. The children are very concentrated. We respect everything, not just the people, but everything that we are given, we're good stewards of our environment. So whether it's the food, it's the materials, it's the building itself, everything is cared for with great respect and awe and gratitude for what we've been given. We have a combination classroom of three, four, and five-year-olds, and those are early childhood kindergarten classrooms. They transition up after kindergarten to a first, second, and third grade classroom. So first, second, and third graders are together, six to nine-year-olds, and that's our elementary one. And then they transition up when they're in the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, and that's our elementary two. Then they transition up to middle school. What's really neat is they can work side by side, but at different levels but then mentor each other, care for one another, teach one another. There's so many benefits from you know, having a multi-age classroom. One of the benefits of a multi-age classroom is two-thirds of the children stay each year and they're experts because they already know the teacher, they already know all the materials in the room, they know the routines and the procedures, so you're not breaking in 28 or 30 new students no, and just getting them developed. Yeah. yeah, The parents make that strong connection with the teacher and the teaching assistant just as the people in the classroom do to one another. The other thing that amazes visitors is it's not whole group instruction. If there are 30 children in the class, there's 30 different activities happening simultaneously in the classroom and there's always student choice. The students have a work plan for the week of goals that they have to accomplish, but it's up to that child to manage his or her time. We want the children to be independent, not just academically, but in real life. They haven't had to wait for the rest of their class to learn that concept. They move at their own rate, so when your child is ready for the next lesson, he or she gets it. So there's no limit other than their own curiosity and their own determination as to how far our students go. The best part about that is also that once they go and choose the work themselves, we get to observe what they're doing, and that is a very important piece in the Montessori classroom. Part of that observation is paying close attention to what they need. Instead of being up in front of a class and doing lectures or whole group lessons, you connect more with your students. So the materials are sensorial, meaning they call on all five senses to be employed correctly, and the child absorbs the information through their senses, and it paints a picture in the child's mind. I like using the materials because we can learn how to do different works. I think what I like the most is it's very hands-on. To be able to physically touch the materials and manipulate them and really understand what it is that they're working on. For example, we have a material called the trinomial cube which has 27 prisms in it. And as a young child, we use it as a puzzle. But by the time my children are in sixth and seventh grade, it's a trinomial cubed equation and we do it algebraically, but it's the same material we handed the child when he was three. Some of the works I like to do is um, checkerboard. First year, I did um, all the singular and plural works. Today, I did the multiplication threes and sixes. Something I'd say about the whole child is we're not looking to build students who are just socially um, adjusted or resilient. Everything in Montessori is important. Everything is a lesson and prepares the child for life. The kids learn a lot. Um, they build confidence and relationships and conflict skills. Gardening, agriculture, service projects, social justice um, issues, these are all things that are part of the adolescent community. Uh, they have an entrepreneurial business, at least one per year, where they raise money and they spend their own money and budget and decide how to do that. So they may run a snack shop, they may run a garden, uh, they may run a coffee business. There's all kinds of things that's only limited by their imagination. Well, when you go to Montessori training, it changes who you are as a human. We build a rapport with the students, become very close and connect. There is a definite uh, dedication to the curriculum because they go beyond what they've learned in traditional elementary education. They're very culturally sensitive and responsive. They look at the world as a global community. You know, we're a very tight-knit community. It's just a wonderful, warm, welcoming environment. We know our kids, we know our families because we have our kids for three years. I'm proud of my school because it is a really fun place to work and there are nice teachers. I 
I like my school because all the works, since they are fun, they make you want to do more and more of them. We work on teachers honing in on mindfulness and peacefulness and health so that when they come to the classroom, they're fully present for the children. So you'll see that they are very composed and peaceful in modeling that to their children.